Hello class! Welcome to today's reading review. Did you know that you have learned all of your letters? Every single one! I'm very proud of you. Every day this week we are just going to review some of our letters and their sounds. Get ready! Letter M sound M. Mm. Letter Q sound Q. Letter S sound Letter U, sound U. Uh. Letter W, sound W. Mm. Letter X, sound X. Letter Y, sound Y. Letter Z, sound Z. Letter B, sound B. Letter C, sound K. And sometimes S. All right. We have some new words this week. And our new words that we're going to learn this week, hmm, we see them a lot. They're very frequent words when we're reading, but we can learn and memorize them, but you also can learn all of the sounds and read them every time. They all have a new rule though. Hmm. So far when we've been reading, all of our words have only had one vowel. And generally, when our words have one vowel, the vowel says it's short sound. But today, hmm, our words are going to have two vowels. So the first vowel is going to say its name, and the second vowel isn't going to say anything. It's going to be silent. Take a look at our words. Time, more, made, like, and make. All of these words have two vowels. The first vowel says its name, make, and the next vowel doesn't represent any sound at all. All right, let's take a look at these words, and I want to see if you can say them with me. Are you ready? Time. It has two vowels. The first vowel says its name, and the next vowel <gasps> is silent. Time, more. O says its name, more. And the E, made, m, aid. Like and make. I'm going to do those one more time and I'm going to do it super speedy fast. Are you ready? Time, more, made, like, make. <gasps> One more time. Time, more, made, like, and make. Now I am going to put them up into the four corners and maybe one right down here. And you're going to get ready to point to them. Are you ready? I'm going to put them up. Now I want you to point to the word more. There it is! And how about the word make? It's right here in the middle. And made. Made is right down there. And then what about like? <gasps> there it is. And one more word. Time. Do you see it? <gasps> it's right up there. Well done. Well, class, we're going to go into the classroom and read these words as well as many, many more. Let's go. Well, welcome back to my classroom. Let's take a look at some of these letters and their sounds. We're going to blend them together. Let's begin. An. An. It. It. In. In. We are learning so very much that we can begin blending our sounds together a little bit faster. And sometimes we can blend them in our head and then say the word. Let's do some more sounds. E or E, K or S, and B. B. I want you to help me change some of these words a little bit. Are you ready? Here we have 
an. But we are going to add another word or another letter to it. What does it say now? You're right, it's can. Well done. Now I'm going to do something that is a little bit tricky. Are you ready? I'm going to add a letter to the end of the word. It's the letter E. Hmm. Do you remember our two vowel rule? The A and the E are vowels in this word. When there's only one vowel, it often says its short name, like can. But when we add the E, and some people call it a magic E or a sneaky E, when we add the E on the end, the A is going to say its name, and the E is going to be silent. Let's read it. K ain. Cane. This word went from can to cane. Let's make some changes to the word it. If I put the B in front of it, what does it say? You're right, it's bit. Bit. Hmm. There's only one vowel in that word, so it says it's short sound, i. But if we add an E to the end of it, now there's two vowels, and we use the two vowel rule. The first vowel says its name, and the E is going to be silent. B ite, bite, bit, bite. Well, what about the word in? Let's change that a little bit. What does it say now? <gasps> Did you say din, d in, din? Well done. What if we add an E on the end? Now we have two vowels. The first one's going to say its name, I. And the next one <gasps> is going to be silent. Let's read it. D Ein, dine. So we have cane, bite, and dine. I am proud of you for starting to learn a new rule, the two vowel rule. Well, let's see if we can read a sentence. All right, class, before we go, we are going to take a look at this sentence. Read it with me. T ache, take, a, b, bite, bite. Take a bite of the k ache, cake. Well done. Take a bite of the cake. Hmm, I would love to take a bite of a cake, wouldn't you? I think our sentence has most of the things that it needs to be a good sentence. It makes sense. And it has spaces between the words. And there's punctuation at the end. Hmm, there's one thing wrong. Do you see it? Take needs to be capitalized. And I know that you are going to remember to put a capital letter at the beginning of your sentences. Class, thank you so very much for spending time with me today reading. I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.